Yee-haw! At your leisure fans, this week, Rhea and I are headed to one of the best rodeos in the state as we visit the Ute Stampede Rodeo in Nephi. Then, we're off to a quiet getaway down in central Utah. That's a perfect destination for boaters and ATV riders as we head out to the Otter Creek State Park. Finally, Restein takes us out to a recreational and scenic paradise just outside of Yellowstone, known as Island Park, Idaho. So, saddle up and get ready to ride. At Your Leisure is next. One of our favorite places to be in the whole world is right here in Nephi, Utah. And why not? It's the home of the Ute Stampede. That's right. We like to hit this, this rodeo every year. It's so much fun. And today we have got uh, the wonderful Main Street Parade, which you can see these fabulous little horses and ponies. Oh my gosh, they have everything. And then we have the rodeo, and then we have the carnival. So they're going to jam all this in one day, and we're going to do all of it. Welcome to At Your Leisure. <laughs> I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And uh, we are right in the middle of the parade. All things uh, Western heritage from big to small, as you saw just a minute ago go a miniature scale uh, munchkin stagecoach just went by it's yeah it, I, honestly this parade has so much history um, there's so much to this wonderful wonderful county Jueb County so you know we drive through we drive through Jueb County all the time all year long I never have seen all these carts and wagons and buggies yeah. and it's just like they're everywhere it's, and this is all local these people all come from around here which is so cool I know, right? so we really ought to check out some of the people that make this parade happen. I'm actually the Percheron Program Manager. Uh, we have 52 head of, of black Percherons in our program. We have two hitches, similar to the one we have a show hitch, and this is the exhibition hitch. And then we have 15 head of brood mares, and then colts and extras coming up. It's something that, if you want to do it, you have to like it, because it becomes your life. Uh, well, it starts with just, the biggest thing is the amount of time that you get to spend on the lines. And I started driving when I was about 10 years old. And I've been driving professionally ever since I was in high school. I've been with Young Living for two years, and um, it is, it's a lot of power. Um, you have to know your horses. Um, like I said, currently right now at the house we have uh, 10 head there, kind of in this, this part of the program, and we travel with these eight around the country doing shows. Yeah, the biggest thing is because, um, especially with an eight, uh, it is, it's a, this is a wow factor. So this year we're gonna do 15 shows around the United States. Um, these guys are all 2,000 pounds, 18 hands tall, um, big black shiny percherons with all the chrome and everything on them, decked out with the braids and everything. It's about two hours to get them ready for that show, you know, and then washing and everything before that. But um, yeah, it's really neat to see the faces on uh, the little kids uh, and then uh, the older people uh, really like to see the teams as well. Okay, so much for the parade. We got that done. Oh, that was fun. It was. Well, right now we are going to head off to our Where To Adventure. When you see us again, it'll be rodeo time. Have you been looking for the perfect place to get away? Somewhere peaceful, serene, with breathtaking beauty and activities for everyone in your family? Well, we found the perfect spot and this state park is the ideal place for your next trip. This is like heaven to me. Uh, it's, it's a place where you can come and bring your family. And the activities that are here are, are just a lot of fun and it's clean and wholesome. In the park here, there's, there's about 60 spots where they can actually bring traders and, and stuff in. And then we have six spots where you can put tents up and uh, we, we reserve all those places online and then we have places here in the park that people can come and first come first serve and we put them into those spots. 
this quiet getaway is a great destination for ATV riders with access to three trail systems, including the fantastic Paiute Trail. But it's also a prime location for boaters, hikers, kayakers, and Otter Creek State Park is a premier destination for fishermen. Uh, the biggest thing we have here at the park is the fishing, um, but also our proximity to the Paiute Trail system. So a lot of people will you know, camp in the campground, use it as like a home base, and then they'll go out on the trails for a couple hours, come back for lunch, or go swimming and fishing. We're surrounded by three of the biggest main trail systems in the southern Utah part of the state. So we're surrounded by the Monroe Mountain Range, the Dutton Mountain Range, and the Boulder Mountain Range. And they're both beautiful places, and they've got trails on them for miles and miles for people to ride. We've got rainbow trout, brown trout, Colorado cutthroat, smallmouth bass, and then wipers. We rent out paddle boards, canoes. Uh, we're working on getting some kayaks, and then we, we rent out uh, little fishing boats pretty often. Uh, so it's nice so people don't have uh, their own equipment, they can show up to the park and we'll get them set up with everything they need. The fishing is fantastic. The amenities, top notch. And Otter Creek State Park truly has everything you need for your next vacation in a location whose beauty is hard to top. You know what, it's just beautiful here. I mean, the sunrises and the sunsets, it's just spectacular. And not only that, it's just the surrounding beauty of, of the whole area. And and you can fish and you, you know, the nice thing about this park, it, if you're lucky enough to get one, you can get an electric or a water hookup. And uh, that makes it really nice for an extended stay, you know. So it's got a lot of amenities. If you have a four-wheeler, you can take off. There's all kinds of trails everywhere that you can go. So all of our beach sites have water and power hookups. Um, it's typically like for the RVs and stuff. Uh, then we have a dump station on site, and then showers, bathrooms, and a fish cleaning station. Just last weekend, we watched a new young couple. They just bought their, their first trailer, and. You could tell they were trying to make it happen when the, the two teenage boys were like, Mom, Dad, come on, you know. But they were having a blast and, and I it really did my heart good to see that because that's that's what really what builds great families is camping, I believe. This park's peaceful feeling and happy nature seems contagious. And it starts with the fantastic staff they keep here at the park. Their passion for the park tangible and it's no surprise they love it here. Whoever comes in we try to make them feel welcome and it makes me feel welcome to even get to be a part of it and it's really a great experience. There's not very many places in the world like this anymore. We often we can get caught up in you know making a buck or uh, activities and stuff but there's just for me there's simply nothing like getting to the woods or getting to the water to make me realize you know, what's really important. From the perfect getaway destination, Otter Creek State Park, for At Your Leisure, I'm Joe Davis. Hi, I'm Nolan Stedman. And I'm Bruce Stedman. We have been selling motorcycles like this since 1960. Motorcycle has been part of our family forever. We love riding and enjoying the outdoors, everything that Utah has to offer. Riding motorcycles, snowmobiles, ATVs, and now side-by-sides. That's what we do, it's who we are. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. We've been proudly serving Utah's families for over 50 years. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out there, but remember, it's only 30 back. Give us the work no one else wants to do. We don't just go against the grain, we grow it. Give us the frontiers, the places where success is measured and pushed limits. Give us the middle of nowhere, where the only map is your buddy's tread marks. This life, no one's born ready for it.
Vegas, the place where excitement and fun collide. The Juab County Fair in Nephi, Utah, August 3rd through the 10th. Prepare for the extraordinary as we push the limits on excitement at the one county fair that others strive to be, from rodeos to carnival fun. And some tickets are still available to see legendary Texas band Lone Star on August 8th. Special price tickets from $10 to $30 at JuabCountyFair.com. Think you know county fairs? Think again. Juab County Fair, August 3rd through the 10th in Nephi. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. More than just tune-ups, on a hot summer's day, we are air conditioning. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. My name is Anthony Lujan with Smoke Ain't No Joke Competition Barbecue Team. Today, we're going to be cooking smoked salmon. We're going to get this all prepped, seasoned, and ready to hit the grill. Grab your notepads, let's get smoking. So first thing I do, is I'm going to square off this salmon here, make it look good. Cut off the tail end, that's a lot thinner. It cooks a lot faster, turns more into jerky if you keep it on there. Um, I like to portion this out to about two inch slices. Get all sliced up here. All right, we got this salmon all sliced up here. Make sure that it separates. You don't want it to stick together, it'll be hard to serve. Now we're gonna add some rub. This rub is specially formulated for salmon. Salmon rub by Big Daddy Hills. You can get that at any of your local grocers. We're gonna lay this down, this has a lot of flavor combinations in it has a, your citrus your spicy your salty a little bit of everything you're looking for in a rub once again we're gonna lay this rub on thick can't be weak with it you got to put flavor on it get it all sprinkled move that salmon around top bottoms all the corners all the edges as you got all your seasoning on there I went through maybe about a quarter of a bottle on these six pieces of meat here six cuts and then what I like to do just put it in a pan and I use squeezable butter. I usually go with the blue bottle gold top, get it all laid out in there. One, this adds flavor. Two, it keeps the skin from sticking to the pan. Don't be shy with it. You're almost creating like a butter bath. We're going to put our fillets right on that butter. Make sure you leave some space so that smoke can get all the way around. If you have them tucked up together, you're going to miss an opportunity for smoke to get into the meat. Okay, let's get this in the smoker. We're going to put it in there for about 20, 25 minutes and we're going to check the temperature on it. Our end goal is 145 degrees. It's going to look buttery, it's going to flake, and we're going to enjoy. So let's get this in the smoker. Alright guys, it's been about 25-30 minutes. We just checked the temperature on this. The end goal was 145 degrees. Let's open it up, get it out of the smoker, and show you the end result. All right, guys, we got this all done. It's all cooked to 145 degrees. We got it in the butter bath. Let's get it on the cutting board, and let's give it a taste. All right, what I'm gonna do here is just put a little bit of butter on top here. You can use a brush. I prefer to use my hands because it makes it look a lot better. Control it. And there we go, smoked salmon. Let's give it a taste. All right, here we go. We cooked it to 145. As you can see, it's still flaky, buttery. It peels right off the skin. Falls apart just like this. And let's take a taste. Wow, that turned out fantastic. My name's Anthony Lujan with Smoke Ain't No Joke Competition Barbecue Team. We'll be right back with At Your Leisure. I promised my son that if he got straight A's, we would take a guy's trip, just the two of us. We were riding on a trail outside a place called Minersville, Utah. There was so much to explore and the trail just kept climbing higher, right to the top of a mountain called Jack's Peak. We just stood there with the whole world below us, not saying much, in fact, not a word. Later, my son turned to me and said, I love you, dad. Suddenly I realized we weren't just camping, we were connecting. 
It's liquidation time at Paris RV. Get the 2019 Rockwood 1640 LTD tent trailer for only $81.72 or $99 a month, zero down. Or the 2019 Puma 17 QVC bunkhouse trailer for only $14,888 or $149 a month, zero down. Or maybe a Class A motorhome is your style. Choose the 2019 FR330DS for only $94,322 or $695 a month, zero down. If you want a super low price, you come see me at Paris RV. side of the gate. All right. As a rodeo queen, we are the ambassador for the sport of rodeo. So we get to do fun things like come around to different rodeos, parades, and get to represent our city. Yeah, so it's a queen stating. If your hat comes off, your head better be in it too. <laughs> There's a lot of hard work that goes into getting this title. So we have a horsemanship interview, an indoor interview, modeling, a speech, impromptu questions, and a horsemanship pattern. I've been doing queening for about three years, and I absolutely love this title. I got crowned in April. So it hasn't been that long, but it's been such a great ride. I love this rodeo so much. I've come here every year since I started queening and I actually came and walked when I was a little kid too. This rodeo is one of the best in the state and they have amazing stock contractors that are here too. Whatever prompted you to decide you were going to climb on? It's on my bucket list. I don't know about you, but I think the ladies are doing a Now it's checked up, so I didn't die, we're good. So are you going to do it again? Eventually, yeah. Actually, I think I need to do better next time. Where do you hurt? Um, my butt, and my leg, my back. That kind of knocked the wind out of me when I fell. My name's Dalvin Arad, 11 years old. Um, I rode a bull. Uh, yeah. Just, it's fun. You can hang out with family, friends. There's sometimes fairs. And, it's just a good time. Uh, just hanging out with friends and family and getting to do just everything like all the other kids. Now that's something an old rodeo goer just is not used to seeing yet. The girl's riding. The girl riding bareback bron. Oh, she's on saddle bron. Yeah. Saddle bron. Yeah, saddle bron. That is, I swear, this is one of those events that if you, when you get on, you're holding on so tight because you are too scared to let go. Well, that's true. We'll find out how the girls stack up to the boys. But right now, we are going to take a break from here. Listen to those crazy horses kicking to get out. But you'll be kicking a fiscoy from Reese Stein, who is taken away to a paradise in Idaho. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, along the way in the recreational and scenic paradise that is Island Park, Idaho, which the residents claim has the longest Main Street in the world. Main Street is 33 miles of U.S. Highway 20 on a high plateau hard against the Continental Divide at the gateway to Yellowstone National Park. Open islands with lodges, restaurants, and gas stations dot the Targhee National Forest Park, giving the city its name. It was incorporated in 1947 to conform to state laws which allowed alcohol sales only within city limits. It is divined by the Henry's Fork of the Snake River, which surges from beneath a volcanic caldera at 120 million gallons per day. Known as Big Springs, it's famous for many huge rainbow trout that gather under the bridge waiting for visitors to feed them. This is pretty fun. Why? Uh, at first, it was hard to see the fish, and we were kind of disappointed. And then the first time that first, that fish jumps out of the water, it scares you to death, but it's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> what is 
Oh. The boys have got the touch. You have to throw it kind of to the side a little bit and then let the, the current just bring it in and then it'll come right to it. It's better if you do like more than two or three at a time so then more come to get it. Henry's Fork also flows from Henry's Lake and through Island Park Reservoir. The river draws fishermen from all over the world and is popular with all kinds of boaters. Landlubbers can rent UTVs from High Mountain Adventures and hit the trails from Yellowstone Boundary to Majestic Sawtell Peak. Wildlife of all kinds, some small and big, roam the wild forests surrounding Island Park. Birds of a variety of feathers graze in the lush forests. In the late afternoon twilight, a herd of elk storms across Henry's Fork, while a lone coyote calmly strolls throughout our neighborhood. The crown jewel of the area may just be Railroad Ranch, 12,000 pristine acres given to the state by the Harriman family for a state park. The historic buildings are maintained to their early 20th century character, while many, such as the ranch manager's house, have been converted to comfortable living accommodations. For more than 90 years, Ponds Lodge has served tourists as the granddaddy of the Island Park Resorts. In 1941, Harry and Estelle Phillips opened Phillips Lodge and guided anglers on the reservoir. A new hotel is going up on the riverside site of historic Max Inn, which was first opened 100 years ago, but burned down in 1989. Island Park is a popular recreational home community with pockets of neighborhoods hidden in the stands of Lodgepole Pines. There's even a golf course here. Many of the homes are available for rent through Airbnb, our family of nine chose Rex's large home near Big Springs at the north end of Island Park, just 21 miles from Yellowstone Park. Having a house with uh, all the amenities in it is just so much better than having a hotel room somewhere. It just makes it such an easy experience. We had a fire pit out back, we had a gas grill, uh, we had everything we needed uh, to be home. And the Airbnb saved our three families a bunch of money. Restein at your leisure along the way in Island Park, Idaho. Hi, my name is Spencer Cox. I'm the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Utah, and I'm the new spokesperson for Ride On. Ride On is a unique partnership between all the land managing agencies in the state of Utah to maintain trails, to advocate safety, to advocate wise stewardship amongst all of us who use these trails. And I'm doing it because trails matter to me. This is important for my children. I want them to be safe and I want them to be stewards of the trail. If you would like more information, go to ohv.utah.gov. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. Oh, there ain't nothing like being raised in the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. When we go on vacation, I never ask, are we there yet? Because my daddy makes sure each stop we make is at Eagle's Landing. They have such cool things for kids, like a petting zoo. They have the cleanest bathrooms on earth, and daddy doesn't freak out pulling up to the pumps, because they're really big and he says it's the best gas in the world. And you can get your tired fix, like we had to. Oh, and their food is so yummy. Eagle's Landing is so much fun, I don't care if we ever get there. It's the place where excitement and fun collide. The Juab County Fair in Nephi, Utah, August 3rd through the 10th. Prepare for the extraordinary as we push the limits on excitement at the one county fair that others strive to be, from rodeos to carnival fun. And some tickets are still available to see legendary Texas band Lone Star on August 8th. Special price tickets from $10 to $30 at JuabCountyFair.com. Think you know county fairs? Think again. Juab County Fair, August 3rd through the 10th in Nephi. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Now, Rhea, I'm kind of spoiled because I grew up in Salt Lake where there's an amusement park. We could ride the merry-go-round anytime. Right. You grew up in a small town, so carnivals like this one at the Youth Stampede are kind of a special deal to you, right? Well, yeah. I mean, we only got the carnival like at one time a year, and it was on the 4th of July. Uh -huh. And so this is really fun for me because I never got enough.
enough of these rides. Okay. How many how many rides did you barf on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we won't talk about that. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of a cool carnival company because it's a Utah company. They're from Pleasant Grove, Utah. It's called City of Fun. So these are local. Oh, they're so nice too. They are. They are. Well, while we go figure out what we're going to do next at the carnival, why don't you take a look at this week's contest winner? This week's contest winner is license number Y474JL. And it looks like you're the lucky winner of a two-night stay and a half-day UTV rental at the magnificent Lizzie and Charlie's RV Park down in Marysville, Utah. And it looks like you're also going to win a $100 gas and gift card to Eagles Landing, which is the best place to get that real gasoline Clear 91. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prizes. Now it's time to take a look at our calendar of events. First up, August 3rd through the 10th is the Juab County Fair in Nephi, Utah. And on the 8th, the band Lone Star will be doing a concert at 7.30 p.m. Get tickets for that. They're still available. Then, August 17th and the 18th is the Ride for Life event, which benefits the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It goes from Tooele all the way to Wendover and includes raffles and prizes, so be sure to be there. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to our contest winner and to our frog winner. <laughs> Right now, it's time for us to move ahead and take a look at next week's show. Next week, you won't want to miss it as our friends Gina and Kevin are back on the show to take us out for an exciting day of rafting and tubing down the Sevier River. Then we're following a unique group of volunteers on the Shoshone Trail System as they show us what goes into maintaining the trails and ensuring access for everyone. Finally, we're visiting a one-of-a-kind Scandinavian festival down in Ephraim that celebrates the rich heritage and culture of those who settled in the valley from the greater Scandinavia. Well, nothing finishes off a rodeo like uh, corn dogs and french fries. Actually, these corn dogs are made out of chicken, and I'm not kidding. And I'm not eating them. I don't eat chicken corn dogs. Listen to me. I, I, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay. You got two. Okay, they're from Canada. These are Canadian corn dogs. Uh -huh. And she said they're the best corn dogs you will ever well, eat. What do you expect from somebody from Canada? Okay, let's. Yeah. You can go get the other ones. They're I'm made gonna, out of pork. I'm going to, honey. I'm eating these. Well, just remember, there's adventure around every other bend and maybe even better corn dogs. <laughs> you just got to so get just, out there and create your own adventure. And corn dogs. <laughs> the, and, heat, the heat is getting to us. And, and your, your leisure. leisure. Come on, let's go. <laughs>